I'm Susan Wagner of Smart Retailer, and I'm here in Artemisia on 3rd Street in Geneva, Illinois, with Nicole Ryla of Retail Minded. Hi. Hi. And Retail Minded is a great resource for the independent local retailer. Um, Nicole provides a quarterly publication, website, speaking, seminars, an annual conference, all to support the lifestyle of the independent retailer. Nicole, what are independent retailers struggling with the most these days, and how can they combat that? I think that's a great question, Susan. You know, I visit a lot of retail stores, and I find that inventory management is such a struggle. You know, here at Artemisia, they do a great job of replenishing, making sure that their store is filled with engaging merchandise, but too often, I see stores that are letting their shelves sit empty because they're just not controlling their dollars to spend, what needs to be replenished. You know, I always suggest to invest in um, inventory management software that can help with that, of course, but also just be aware of, you know, this empty space that might be floating within the store. Right. You know, customers see that and they react to that. They worry that maybe the store is going out of business or they're afraid to buy the last item on a shelf or That's something exactly like that. That's exactly right. So. And they wonder why is it so empty versus mm -hmm. just being engaged. They right. shouldn't have to think about that. Exactly. To truly be successful, independent retailers need to take advantage of all the resources they can, including their local resources. Now, Nicole, you're seeing that people need to do this more and more. Oh, absolutely. I think that within your own community, you know, there's three key sources for the most part that stores should lean on. Each other, for one. I Definitely. think it's so important to consider what you can do within your own community, B2B, as well as supporting each other as merchants in general, sharing the strengths and weaknesses, your lessons learned. Also, your chambers. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, chambers, of course, will vary from city and community to each. But in general, the chamber is there to support that small business owner. And then, of course, the city itself. Many cities offer some fantastic resources for their retailers and other small businesses. And I think too often retailers neglect to give them the time and attention they should. Right. The other thing, too, is if you feel like you'd like to have your chamber or your city provide more for the stores, go and ask them. Suggest to them, say, we really would like to have a speaker come in, have them bring somebody in, smart retailer, retail minded, or somebody like that to help support their stores. Absolutely. Nicole, what do you think is the most underused tool today for retailers, and, and how can they go about using it more? You know, I think this is probably going to be an obvious answer, but yet somehow it's still neglected, but social media. Definitely. I really do. It's, you know, very affordable, if not free in many cases, um, and it's engaging. It provides a constant stream of communication to consumers, mm -hmm. and, you know, let's slap in email marketing with that as well, because it sort of lumps in there also. But together, those are so important to do. Facebook, Pinterest. Um, you want to make sure that your pictures are up of your store, that you're communicating your product, your event details, and really sharing that story of what makes you unique. Independent merchants have a story to share, and social media is such a fantastic place to do that. And store owners should keep in mind that with social media, it really is about the conversation you're having with your customers. Yes. It's not just all about the selling. I always so. suggest to retailers, make sure you both give on social media, so you're giving out information, but you also get, in other words, listen to what people are telling you, and react. Right. You know, really comment, engage, don't just wait for things to happen, you wanna make them happen. Mm -hmm. And today's consumers, that younger generation that's gonna be the ones buying from your store, they are all over social media. Yep. So they love Instagram. That's our Instagram you know, growing well. social yes. media trend for that. The younger consumer is really using that. And what better place to take pictures than your store, right? Yeah. So go to where your customers are. That's where you'll find them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Being an independent retailer is really a unique and challenging position. And I know this is one area where Nicole's heart lies in, in getting the, the store owner, you know, to work both in and out of their shop and how they can balance that. So, yes. any tips? 
You know, I've always believed, and I've visited thousands of retailers over the years, but I've always believed that retail and owning your own store is more than a job, it's a lifestyle. And so with that in mind, I always really encourage um, retailers to take the time to both enjoy their space, but also get away from it. You know, it needs a fresh set of eyes sometimes, and those include your own. So step away, let a part-time employee come in, even if it's on occasion. Of course, you want to make sure they're trained and educated and can support your store. But getting away allows you to get refreshed within your community, within yourself as well. And then when you come back to your store, I think you're actually stronger, um, able to support your stores as best as possible. You know, another thing, of course, is to take the time to be healthy, even within your store space. So true. You can, you know, do some active moves or eat healthy, invest in a little refrigerator. Um, you know, combining that work-life balance, some people say, I'm no time to do this, I'm in my store all day. But there are little quick tips to, you know, really help you stay more engaged with yourself and not just your store. You can't get lost in the business even though it can consume you 24 oh. hours a day. Yes, it can, but good, good, important tips to keep in mind.